<laughs> Hi, everybody. Kevin and Heather Raider here, the Green County Fairgrounds. You can see the graphic right over my shoulder here to prove that that's where we are and that's where we're going to be on April 9th and 10th. So in, only in Indiana Spring Market, we're rounding um, up registrations right now for both indoor, outdoor vendors, food vendors as well. We have lots of exciting things that are planned right now. And Kevin, how many counties do we have? We are so excited. We have right now over 20 counties. We still got about, what, five weeks to go? Five weeks to go. So we could push that number up. And over 50 vendors. Now, the neat thing, the goal with Only in Indiana, with this spring... Uh, market spring market oh you forget that <laughs> that we what we wanted to do was attract some of the neatest things from all across the state and we're getting started doing that and i can tell you how excited we are we wanted to make sure and this is not a, an offense to anyone else but we didn't want a flea market we want something right. where you walk in and see something new and something done an art by who's your artisan so for the last i think we started registering people here right after our um holiday market in November and one thing that I want to kind of stress we've had some questions about this some people are pretty excited about it some people are not so happy about it um, is we are very limited on indoor space at this building um, there's only so many tables that we have available for use only so many rooms we have available for use and so we want to make sure that we are able to as Kevin mentioned be able to offer so many different um, vendors across the state to be able to come in and showcase their their business so vendors have the opportunity to have one eight foot table along with two chairs if you choose to be an outdoor vendor you can bring up to three tables of your own outside but the hiccup in that is is that you have to be able to tear it down Saturday night and put it back up on Sunday which most everybody has been real excited about because they're real excited to be a part of this event and so, some people that have, have, have huge trailers, and we're right. surprised by how well decorated some of them are, right. and, and obviously looking forward to what they're going to uh, represent for all of you. Right. I think um, one thing I really want to stress right now is, is that there's just two weeks left if you're a food vendor and you want to be able to participate at this event. Um, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of going back and forth with local health departments to ensure that what you're going to sell is safe. Um, we've had some food vendors that signed up and just refused to get the permitting. So they've pulled out, they've backed out of this event. And then we have other people that are excited because that space has now come open. So we're working very diligently back and forth with the Green County Health Department to ensure that this is a safe, a clean, and a well um, represented event when it comes to food. Um, we're bringing the Easter Bunny. Um, we did a we did a video here last week um, and put it out. This is a kind of a secret we've been sitting on here for a couple of months. But the Easter Bunny will be joining us both days. And bring along your camera. And bring there may be some other surprises, but for sure the Easter Bunny. Right. Bring along your camera. Bring along your cell phone. Be able to take your own photo with your loved ones with the Easter Bunny. We want to make sure that this is something that is kid friendly. Um, and one week right ahead of Easter. It's free admission too and I think that's something else that we're very proud of is that we are keeping the cost of this event very low we are um, we're looking forward to having a lot of civic organizations join us some people are coming and gonna collect uh, for toys for tots and close clothe a child here in Greene County but it's not just for Greene County that's something we really want to stress is is that we are really proud of the fact that we're bringing people from north, south, east, and west from all over the state of and Indiana. And we are way, like we're as north as... Hobart. Hobart, and as south as... Uh, Vanderburg County and Evansville. I didn't um, I didn't tell her I was gonna do that. That was really good. <laughs> we also have um, someone in the northeastern side of the state that is from DeKalb County. Yeah. Um, obviously lots of green, Sullivan, Monroe County, but we are real excited to to have a variety. Yeah, we think um, you're gonna see some things that you haven't seen before, and that's what makes us excited. One big vendor that is coming that obviously we know brings a really uh, a big crowd is Meyer Winery and Vineyard out of Sullivan. Wine so slushies. They're, they're gonna have wine slushies. They're gonna have taste testing. You must be 21 in order to enter the area that they're gonna be specifically set up in. So just a reminder that if you're coming, bring your ID because you will be carded. 
excise will be on site too as well so keep that in mind only oh look at it oh i i <laughs> only in indiana Backwards. two days coming up in april we really would like to have you join us see you soon